Greetings everyone, I am Shujat Ali from Medicos Lectures by Shujat and today we are going to talk about chronic liver failure and cirrhosis, a very interesting topic of liver and GI pathology. So when we talk about chronic liver failure, so it is a progressive deterioration of liver for more than 6 months. Deterioration means worsening of condition. So worsening of condition for more than 6 months and cirrhosis, cirrhosis is not a disease. It's basically a complication which can develop in many diseases. We define it as diffuse fibrosis of liver surrounded by nodules formation is cirrhosis. So complication for more than six months with diffuse fibrosis surrounded by nodule formation, we are going to discuss that in complete details. So for that we have to have a concept of how diffuse nodular formation and fibrosis take place in body. So let's consider this as a wound a site of wound and here the phenomena of fibrosis is developed and when fibrosis or we can say when blood clot happen so there is an contraction which occur we named it as wound contraction so that same wound contraction phenomena due to some complications occur in liver and basically what it do is it accumulate collagen so which ultimately surrounded by nodules formation is cirrhosis. For histological view, for histopathological view, we have a functional unit hepatic nodule. On that we have kuffer cells, we have hepatocytes. Kuffer cells, they are macrophages combining with hepatocytes, they secrete cytokines. And stellate cells, they are the cells which basically play their role in fibrosis. So when we talk about micro and macro nodules, so nodule which is greater than 1 millimeter in diameter it is macro nodule and nodule which is lesser than 1 millimeter in diameter it is micro nodules. So till here in quick overview what we discuss, we dis discuss what chronic liver disease, liver failure is, how cirrhosis develop, how phenomena of fibrosis take place and surrounded by nodules formation. Now we are moving towards its further details, we have to talk about causes. First main cause is chronic hepatitis, hepatitis B and C, alcoholic and chronic non-alcoholic hepatitis and fatty liver diseases and biliary tract diseases. Because when we see simple anatomy of liver, we have right lobe, left lobe and we have a falciform ligament and in the same way when we see it posteriorly, we have quadrate lobe and uh, arteries and veins. So these are basic, it's overview, quick overview of its anatomy and gall bladder is there for the storage of bile which basically synthesis take place in liver. And before going in clinical features we have to identify the main role of liver. So liver it secrete bile which ultimately store in gall bladder and its main role in detoxification, detoxifications of uh, amines as well as in cholesterol synthesis it has its main role. So major role is in detoxification and uh, basic blood transfusions role. How blood transfusion we have when we discuss causes we have portal hypertension condition. How it develop that blood from GIT through portal vein it enters in liver and from liver through hepatic vein it goes to inferior vena cava. But when the process of hypertension take place in liver so in this place there is backflow. We can say there is hypertension condition in liver when we named it as portal hypertension and shunts starting developing we named them as portocaval shunts. So when we discuss about causes or clinical features, clinical features include most common anorexia, weight loss, jaundice, encephalopathy, coagulopathy, hepatomegaly and uh, pruritus itching and portal hypertension which we discussed in that diagram and hypoestrogenemia. Hypoestrogenemia basically it leads to gynecomastia, development of breast in male. We have spider angiomas in when uh, we discuss about the endocrinal changes in that person. So condition of spider angiomas we see on skin and uh, that's basically in uh, we see like there is spider formation arterial bluish color spider formation which occurs on our basically 
peripheries. So we name that they are spider angiomas, hepatocellular carcinomas. They are also a clinical feature. So in diagnosis, we have endoscopy as well as LFTs check. And after diagnosis, the last stage is liver transplant. Management include treat the cause. Either they are hepatitis B or C. They are alcoholic, non-alcoholic. They are from belly tract disease. So we have to treat cause. We have to maintain nutrition in that person. And for prognosis, we have a child puff score. We have five major factors in child puff score. One is we have to check encephalopathy. Second one, we have to check serum bilirubin. Third, we have to check serum albumin in that case. And fourth is ascites and prothrombin time. So after knowing these five causes, we have to make a prognosis or make diagnosis which will help us in treatment of this chronic liver failure and cirrhosis condition. So in quick overview guys, what we discussed in this, we discussed basics definition, how fibrosis and nodules phenomena take place, what are the causes, how they are clinically located and uh, what are their diagnosis, management, treatment and prognosis. So that's all from chronic liver failure and cirrhosis. Hope you guys all will understand it. In case of any query, you can directly ask me. Don't forget to subscribe to Medical Lectures by Shriyat. Thanks so much guys.